In this video, I want to show you how to view recordings of class sessions that you may have missed if a recording of the class session was made using a big blue button or there is a different, there's an alternate program that is sometimes used in classes in Williams Lake uh, called Blue Jeans Network. Uh, the two have very different ways of uh, displaying their recordings and I'm going to show you both of them. Uh, in an earlier video on attending live sessions, one of the things that I mentioned is when you go to a live session, um, you have recording a list of recordings that are available on that live session. And that is true um, when you have an ongoing class. Oftentimes you can get to all of the various recordings um, by just going to the live page and then you'll see the recordings for previous sessions. Um, in uh, in the order that they were made um, but the other way that you can view them um, I'll just take a look at this from the main course page we see this is the live uh, um, this is the live session but we also have archives and these are just the recordings the difference in the icon is very minimal but that little red dot should let us know that that's an archive and not the live session when we click on that and I'm just going to open it up because I already have it open in a different browser but if we click on that uh, we're taken to a page that is still within the Moodle system it is a different tool in that this is just a resource. Uh, you can't participate interactively in any of these recordings, but the recordings are still there. The same five recordings are, are listed as part of what is called the Cafe Archives, uh, and you can access any of them. When you click on it, you're, uh, it opens up a recording of the session you're able to see the uh, any video of the session uh, and in this particular case there were two different video cameras operational one of the classroom and one of the instructor um, there is a um, sort of a timekeeping device here that lets you know what what is uh, being on the main display for students to see and then as you go through the recording you just simply click to start the playback and as you can see the progress indicator indicates how that particular uh, recording is being streamed to my device online. Uh, as we play that, we get a playback of any audio that was recorded in the entire session. Fairly simple to use and when you're done you just click to close the tab and you're back in the screen where th that you came from. Um, the other kind of system when uh, people are not using Big Blue Button but they're using the Blue Jeans network it produces a page uh, or you can you can produce a page that is displayed that's still a Moodle page but it looks when you click on the link it looks like this it's very in in my case very simplified with the date and the sessions uh, and each of these are recordings like uh, Big Blue Button recordings were, but you can click on the recording uh, that you of a session that you missed, and you see the same um, the same sort of possibilities. You can see the session, you can maximize it so that you're actually able to see the full um, cast uh, up in the corner. You see the um, the classroom camera, and eventually there will be an instructor camera as well. Uh, this central area is the area that was being displayed on the uh, projector monitor in the classroom. Uh, the Blue Jeans network is much more integral to the classrooms that are set up with ITV, and that's one of the reasons why we were testing the use of it in this class. Um, students are able to log in to an online site uh, and participate in the class. They're also, if they're unable to have, they don't have internet access at their home, but they do have a phone, they're able to phone in and participate in the session. In that way they can hear all the class discussions and, and that sort of thing. So it has a little bit more accessibility than Big Blue Button does. Um, the difficulty is um, with the um, the actual um, 
recordings have to be, they require quite a lot of processing and they require their own special uh, server so that um, when you go to the uh, cafe archives, um, if we just use the Blue Jeans network recordings, those would be um, in areas where we couldn't protect student privacy. So we've had to take these recordings and put them on a server at TRU. It's very time intensive for uh, our IT people to do this. So your instructor may choose to um, to use Big Blue Button or Blue Jeans Network and if uh, recordings are made available to you this video has been about how to access and play back those recordings.